need for learning that yeah so the the basically idea is i'm using the pivot tables and okay. uh, i can use the vlookup and uh, some of the functions some if functions and these kind of things okay uh, but uh, nowadays we are using sap system and okay. a lot of things which is coming uh, coming up like you know a lot of data we are just downloading from one sheet and then again we'll download the another uh, another database and just trying to matching matching and all these things we are doing actually okay so and it it was a desire that now we have to learn this the vba functionality in the system that is one of the main reason for going for the excel now uh, the vp vba is the main target actually okay. and apart from that it's if it is like something like a good uh, what you call it, functional uh, things like a dashboard kind of things okay okay for me to learn that is that is the main idea of uh, this thing okay so, so spoke, yeah uh, i just want to tell you that what we are doing in excel uh, we just uh, just see an example of it it is an attendance monitoring system that i have created you can see here i have put some validation kind of thing and i select the month from here and the all formation is done automatically such as the february has 28 days so it is here the saturday sunday is also highlighted so suppose i just go to third month it is march it is also highlighted here and the days are exceed from there here yeah. and the formatting is also exceeding so it is creating a automated a type of function hmm. so basically it is the project of conditional formatting and formulas there is no way i have used programming in that so the reason i am telling these things because most of the things we can do if we have knowledge about formulas we have knowledge in depth knowledge about formulas such that you can see that i am using here so long functions for filling this ppp weekly holidays h these are guaranteed holidays so i am filling it by a formula i am maintaining my holiday list in separate sheet and leaves of the employees here and the rest of that has been filled automatically here so if i come to april in 2014 so it will show me the attendance till today this is 10th of okay. april so this system has been created by formula conditional formatting and data validation mm. Mm -hmm. most of the times the formula we use is it's about 10 to 15 the normal people use 10 to 15 formulas the good basically the good the good people use uh, 10 to 15 formulas but we train on more than 250 formulas in excel and vba so apart from okay. that apart from vba the formula is also needed the conditional formatting is needed the pivot table is needed the charting option charting is needed so we have basically two categories in every option general and advanced mm. so you can see uh, i can create a format uh, like this i just open that in my excel see i have a bank rtgs format here okay but this type of format can be created uh, by good formatting if you have good formatting you can create easily but when i have created a format it means that i am i had made a, to reduce the timing of user so it mm. it can be done more easier but here if i need to type words in every block then it is difficult it will not save your time mm. so what i have done this i have created a data form and if i put here 
another name if i am entering in a flow then it uh, then it is so much useful and you can see here yeah. it is uh, transformed it is also mm. with by formula knowledge yeah such as i am putting uh, here the amount mm. and it is got converted by another formula yeah and it is got separated in every cell by block by block so these formula transformation is called array formula which is the last yeah level of formula training so in excel okay. we do, do that and we talk about dashboard so here i have created a dashboard this one Mm. In this dashboard, I have a filter here. Through radio button, mm. I have created several filters, and this power gauge is uh, showing me the share of that sales. And I can choose the month to which it should be displayed, and it is also showing the shade. These things. also not included with bba this is done by formula only formula and charting mm. i have not used bba in that so okay so these type of things we do in our advanced excel section and okay. what what we do in bba see i have created a report such as you are downloading so much reports from your sap system so suppose that we have a data like that here we have lots of companies and their stock balance the our company is basically working in construction sector and every site has individual store for storing our raw material so the hmm. raw material value is here the opening balance what stock in this month what stock has gone out and what is the final balance so it is in different different companies so being a construction company there are several subsidiaries of that company but the site are also there so these sheets are created for uh, different different subsidiaries companies but the site uh, sites are also in there suppose sometimes we feel that in one site we have material of two companies so in physical condition it is stored in one company one uh, physical store but it shows me in different different companies now i have to check the actual physical existence of the material so i have to create a report here because i have uh, created lots of company there are lot uh, suppose one company has purchased land and given the co contract for building to other company so it is such kind of data so what i have done through macro i have created a macro here in which i have created a master let me open in 2007 so i have created a master here in which i have put company name and project name and the group name means the physical store what we call it and the uh, relevant project head who is the project head i have created this system i browsed that file which i have created for from erp or sap system i select that file okay now it is doing analysis in that and creating a separate report for me in which i have put physical mm. stock in that and under different different project head mm. so this is the power of macro 
Yeah. So it can create any report from any data without putting any extra effort on that. Let me demonstrate about paste special. You already been using paste special, but what's new in that? I take it to the advanced level. I tell you what's new in that. Quantity, uh, rate, amount. I'm creating just a uh, fake data here. random values I use this formula rand between and mm. one more formula so this is a data here I put some formatting And also one thing instead of serial number I'll use date okay. I have created some data when just double click on to set the columns I just copy that and in right click and paste special we use values in all we get the same data as it is here with formats comments and everything when we use values it shows me the values not the formula because here you can see there is a formula but here you get the values the thing you might know about these things but the problem is that I want to show that see the date system here yeah format we can copy no Correct. values yeah, along with the values we can copy the format yeah now if I have to copy the format basically the date format which was changed is called number formatting the if I have some format here I put decimal I put decimal here so this kind of data uh, this kind of formatting is called number formatting because if you can yeah. see in home tab there is number so this is called number formatting and the number tab so for copying this format we have option in our paste, paste special if you want to uh, get the data paste the values but with number formatting you can use this option values and number formats yeah so th your date will be maintaining the same number format at as it is here instead of using the paste special as values we can use this values as number format values and number format I have copied that values and number format most of the time I am doing I'm wasting my work for setting the columns again and again when I have to do this column settings I can do just copy the data and go it here 
in paste special i have an option for column weights also you can paste your column weight here the column settings will be pasted here okay hmm. now let's move on to another option we can paste our formats itself all the formats will be pasted here now if i want to paste yeah our, normally i used to use that one yes yes but uh, this uh, there is a difference about normal formatting number formatting and everything so here is yeah. two option given formats and values and number formats this number formats contains only the data formation not the color code and the borders this mm -hmm. option we use all except borders when we don't want borders to be pasted here almost we don't use this thing but for knowledge sake we know this thing okay there is another option about all using source theme the source theme is what you might have seen in powerpoint there is different different type of uh, format combination such as themes so this is called source themes you can see my uh, data changing here so all using source theme means the source theme will be copied here but we generally we don't use these source theme in excel because we are using in uh, habitual of using in powerpoint so we don't need that but you can paste formats comments if you want to paste comments you can also paste comment yeah the, the shortcut for inserting comment is shift f2 if you have large comments you can copy that and to, and to a particular location you can paste your comments also so here you can find the comment the date the data validation the validation will be uh, told to you in the section of data validation a validation also you can paste here yeah. now comes to operation have you used this operations before no no see uh, the top part i used actually but uh, the bottom I, i never used that yeah correct so i am pasting Based some values options i used actually but uh, the yes hmm. yes yes this is uh, all about paste special actually what i am going to tell in today's session is all about paste or special copying and paste option suppose you have some data and your boss says that you have created a report or something a data by manual work and your boss says the this should be added in that and this one you add in that this one you add in that uh, adding these values i have to add b column into a column so what what we generally do it we just uh, using the formula here we just go to this one plus this one and drag these all data and copy and paste as yes. values well, yes. most of the times we are doing that yeah but when you have to copy and paste the values then if you see there is a option in paste special itself when you go to paste special if you have to add the value b column to a column you just select the whole data and press this operation add and see the result 65 into 21 86 so the yeah, values in front it, yeah. of in front of the cells will be added in a column okay but there is a problem if your boss says that i don't want to add the values i want to replace the values then what is the problem the problem is that if i copy these values and paste here then the blanks also get pasted here this is my problem while pasting 
so what we can do in that generally people do uh, they put if formula if if there is value then put this one uh, uh, yes uh, that is uh, the yeah yes uh, the I people got, I, got, I understood the formula yeah yeah but if I have to replace the value, I have an option in Excel. You just copy the value in paste special. You just choose this thing. Skip blanks. Skip blanks. Mm. That means your blanks will be skipped while pasting. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Suppose that uh, we take some sales example here and when there is a sales the target must be there. So if we have a uh, we have to create achievement suppose I want to show achievement percentage here what I'll do normally people will do that just this one multi uh, what will they do? They, they divide this one to this one and then they put percentage from here or multiply by 100. Okay. By this option they are doing the things. Suppose I freeze that and then drag it. By these they are just creating achievement percentage then copy and then paste here. The way the person do is that but if we I have to create some achievement percentage I will copy these values select the data here in my paste special option I will divide from here directly divide from here ok and percentage but it is also fact when we have our targets for different different persons there is a different different target also what next we can do just select this data copy is that and go to here and paste a special again you divide there I have selected a single value as copy here I have selected the whole value when that this data range the value to be pasted range is similar to this one uh, you need not to select again just divide it will be divided and percentage okay but uh, let's come to that that uh, if we have day wise sales and day wise targets and this is also possible so here you can also select these three columns and again do the same it will be referred by concerned cell ok Suppose if I do this thing with formula, I am going to waste so much time on that. Mm. And now, uh, this uh, this is the part of marketing, but in accounts, what we do generally by these things? In general term, we do such as converting our currency to lakhs or millions in our company uh, as our company turnover such as I am taking some values from 1 lakh to 9 lakh just taking random values now if I want to convert these values value in lakh 
now how do we, I do it now this is a, a tricky question it will consume lots of time for doing that but here I have a solution as paste special I just type here one lakh copy it here and again I am going to select the data and divide that reducing the decimal and here you have values in lakhs how is it yeah so such as addition and multi uh, divide you have options for subtract and multiplication also you can okay. choose as per your require, uh, requirement mm -hmm. I feel that you must know about this transpose option. No, I don't know that. Okay. Ah, this is converting from left to right, this one? Uh, this, uh, suppose you have data like that. You have seen the pivot table. It is uh, mostly like that. You just transpose the data and the data will come. The heading will be converted in rows. Oh, yeah, 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 correct, yeah. Hmm. So this is your transpose option does. Yeah. Now yeah. I'm just again copying the data and for for linking data what I am doing most of the time I am using this equal to column selecting the data and copying it to here dragging the uh, link to here and again dragging because I don't know the structure here lots of part come as zero I just set it to that now this is uh, what next I require the format I copy the format and paste it here there are lots of things I need to do format I need to paste and column width I need to paste lot of things so now it is connected to my data if I change this value it will show the changes here but this procedure is so long what is the short procedure just copy the data go to paste special and here you have paste link again format the the benefit of doing this you will know uh, you need not to more concern about that data uh, size because here you can count easily that uh, there are four or five columns and you can drag a, as per your convenience but when you have large data it is uh, somewhere frustrating so you can use paste link for the same options now while creating dashboard you need you have a very less space in your dashboard such as you have uh, this kind of space and you have you want to show this much of data how will you show you will just copy that and here in home tab you have also paste option just click on that go to as picture paste as picture so your data selected will show you as a picture you can adjust the size as per your requirement now if you remove grid line it is difficult to understand whether it is picture or data but if we are creating dashboard it should display me the changes but with images it is not possible and now how I am going to do that let's see I am following the same method again just copy the data go to home tab and as picture just paste picture link 
and I'm sure this type of picture you did not seen yet. So it is your picture ad adjusted with your size but when you change the color also it will show immediate effect. Got it? Yeah. So this was all about my paste special session. So okay. how was it? It's very good. Yeah. Excellent. So actually in our first session we do the paste special and install the software and in our next session we will we'll be learning about excel options because there are a lot of things in there suppose that there are a lot of difficulties while finding these options such as you don't know uh, this drag in option is coming here and sometime it is not here then how you going to solve it Sometimes people feel that where is the black option gone to drag the values. It is not there. You can select yeah. but you can drag. So sometimes some macros disturb these things. So it is all in are these Excel options. This is in advance enable fill handle drag and drop. When you press OK then it will return. And if you have to change the grid line, if you want to show this developer tab, you have to have uh, knowledge about these Excel options. And a lot of the things are also confusing such as you want to type C in brackets, but when you press enter, it is converting in copyright sign. You, if you want to control these things, so the option will be told you in our next session. Okay, sir. And okay. we will be, we will be learning about after that we will be learning about this number formatting. Yes, the number formatting is uh, sometimes easy to understand, but if we talk about this custom formatting. I'm hmm. damn sure it is uh, not an easy task to understand these signs. Okay, yeah. So I will be telling in our future sessions about the custom formatting, number formatting, this conditional formatting, data validation, what if analysis, goal seek, and more than 250 formulas, how to create dashboards, how to create pi advanced pivot tables, how to create advanced charts. So we will be covering in our advanced Excel uh, session and after that okay. you, you will be learning about macro. I am the uh, actually trainer of only advanced Excel. Uh, after me the Sujit sir will train you or might be he may also can take class of yours for advanced Excel also. Okay, okay. Uh. Okay sir. And in okay. our in our sessions, everything is recorded. You need not to uh, create the notes of that. Uh, the every session, our talk, uh, our discussions will be recorded in a video. And uh, uh, what I am doing in this screen, you can see it and practice at your home. It will be transferred through YouTube or Dropbox. And the oh, okay, okay, okay. The mode will be that only. Okay. Okay. And what about if it is, if it is like a, a suppose say I have things like a, a, suppose I am downloading the data from the multiple sheets, okay. like multiple workbooks uh, from the different places. Yeah. Okay. And then based on this database, I want to create one Excel. Uh, the macros will help, or uh, macros will help then rather than the the formulas, right? Or how it is. The, basically, where the macros helps you, first you need to understand the ways how to work in Excel. 
if you have the shortest way for doing the things in excel you are you will be a good macro creator in vba but if you don't know about much of the functionality of excel you will not be able to use vba effectively Okay. So for uh, learning VBA, it is necessary that you should learn each and every part of Excel for using effectively macros. Because by mouse, what I am doing, you will be doing encoding in macros. And mm. for calculation, the formulas I am using, you can create your own formula through macro. Because it is not like a magic. Because the report I have created, you might have you have seen in my demo through VBA. I have created a pivot table in that separated the data and then formatted through macro. So uh, you okay. you might uh, you should know about this concept of creating that masters and after that how I am going to do that I am just creating VLOOKUP here and putting all the stock information here and after that I am creating a pivot table in which I am uh, using this project head and group names the total of group name I am formatting through macros uh, through borders shadings and different different options I don't okay. have the shortest way for doing the things I will not be able to use macros effectively okay, okay, okay. Sir. so it is yeah. uh, uh, basically uh, joint with each other the Excel and the macros yeah, yeah. are the same macros thing. yeah mm. okay Okay. Uh, what is the planning of uh, this the, the class uh, timing and uh, these things sir? Sir, classes uh, are generally Monday to f Friday, uh, one hour, and Saturday, Sunday, two hours, or might be some where I am doing four hours a Sunday, or you have some different uh, uh, problems. Uh, actually, so even, uh, yeah, actually, uh, Friday, Saturday is a holiday for me here, okay. and uh, the Sunday is a working day. But I don't mind the late late nights is like now they are here the time is eight fifteen. Okay, okay. One and a half hour difference between you and me actually. Yes, yes. So there it is like nine fifteen, nine forty five. Yes, uh, correct, so correct. It, yeah. If you tell yeah. the convenient times the I, I can spend even one instead of one hour a day, maybe yeah. we can spend two hours and try to finish uh, as soon as possible. That is a Sir, uh, I feel that one hour a day will be sufficient because what I have told you today in some in my first class, it is not uh, not as much quantity as I usually give. It is just a demo. In my general routine class, the material will be uh, more than that, and the practice you need to do takes a lot of time. So, if you uh, uh, do in a frequent manner, uh, yeah. means uh, one hour a day, it would be sufficient for practicing. But if you increase that, you will not find to practice. Uh, you will not find time to practice that. So it will be a problem okay. to you only, because okay, after okay. three, after completion of three months, you will not be interested in continuing revising all these things for three months more okay so mm. it is better to practice side by side with the course to learn it better okay. yeah so okay, I, fine, okay. uh, one hour will be best and w the timing um, if I choose the 10 p.m. how uh, how it is if we take Monday to Friday 10 p.m. Yeah, IST. Fine. Yeah, yeah, fine, 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 fine for me. So I, I can even book. You, I can book your slot for late, ten to one. Doesn't matter for me. Actually, even you are taking late nights, it doesn't matter for me. I oh. can. I, I'm a late night guy. Actually, <laughs> not the morning. <laughs> I cannot wake up. That is a problem. <laughs> uh, no problem, sir. Uh, so uh, uh, that uh, the 
at 10 pm it would be fine for you uh, uh, yeah, indian time yes. yeah, so yeah, yeah. so basically you have three free demos with us so uh, your first demo uh, uh, is completed no, I'm now fine now. i mean uh, no yeah. demos is fine for me i mean it's uh, comfortable for me that's not a problem so let us start yeah. with the classes so, okay okay uh, the payment and all if you tell me then you should drop a email then i'll just uh, make the payments to the okay i I'll ask Sujit sir to uh, give you an email regarding the payments options and all. So, uh, okay, uh, good day for uh, tonight. Good night, actually. Okay, sir. Good night. Thank good you. Night. You're in uh, Delhi or? Sir, I am in Faridabad, near to Delhi. Ha, near to Delhi. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay sir. Yes, good sir. night. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, good night, Sandeep. So, we'll meet to we will meet today, tomorrow, actually. Okay, sir. Tomorrow, yeah, sure. Thank you, bye. Okay, thank you.